Hi Virgos, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. This is super exciting because we had Vesta show up yesterday on a van that was going by, which means the goddess within and your sacred spiritual center. And after that, I saw VMA on the back of a number plate of a card that went by. So some of you, this is literally about you being able to win an award. And this isn't just like spiritual recognition that you're gaining when it comes to your new ranking, but this is also going to correlate. I'm hearing and correspond in an external material rank. So some of you, this could be a raise in status due to recognition that you're gaining because you've unlocked your wealth code, you know, for a lot of you. And that's been the wealth code internally, knowing that you are literally this life force full of infinite potential that's navigating this terrestrial plane. So it's a mark of honor recognition. This could be you guys experiencing a wake up call from life, especially when it comes to, hey, Virgos, it's time to step into your full potential during this time, right? And you're realizing that your happiness cannot be found in other people, but instead you've searched within your soul and you've been able to learn how to be happy on your own and it's within needing nothing of the external that is the reason why you're going to be gaining everything right it's like that reading that we did where it's like god is about to make you rich and famous because you don't want to be known right it's because you don't even want to you know, like be rich and famous that's the reason why you're going to be rich and famous right it was the fama energy that was coming out where it's like the god is like and the universe is like fama no right it's the asteroid of fame like no you're about to gain recognition like whether you want it or not i'm hearing the spotlights on you and it's time to step into the limelight right um so yeah, this is about really finding that inner peace and it's knowing that you don't need external attention from anybody, you're just focusing on yourself and because you're just being in this blessed state, you're going to be gaining a lot of recognition just by being you and this is knowing that you're giving no time to negative energy during this time, you're giving no attention, you're giving no energy, your energy is now in a centripetal state of being where you're focused on your creative life force coming back on you instead of being in a centrifugal and you know giving into parasitic energy exchanges where you really care about what other people might say, think or feel about you, all of these in balance energy exchanges have allowed you to tap into how to bring more harmony into your being right so in your needing of nothing externally that's why god is about to bring you everything okay again rich god is about to make you rich and famous because you don't care about being recognized that was literally the reading so i'll link that down below It'll also be at the end of this reading anyway we're going to talk about vesta energy so this is associated with Virgo and Scorpio energy. So I feel like during Scorpio season, as we head into Scorpio season, this is where you're going to see all this beautiful abundance unfold for you. And it's one of the two complex signs in the Zodiac, right? Virgo is an archetype for Vesta to focus on her work. This could be about ethics that include dedication, discipline, or perfectionism, right? And service. This is a, a way that you're able to be of service to the world. And you're into communicating in these realms with your higher self. For a lot of you, you've been able to channel a lot of information from your oversoul right from your higher self that's allowed you to really replenish your organism and return back to a state of harmony which is literally about creation instead of just being a passive observer of your reality you're stepping into creator mode right and you're allowing yourself to you know focus on being a self-sustaining organism that's a big part of it right we're all an organism we're all a cell and you are the self-sustaining organism that's a fractal of source energy, right? And because of that, you're self-sustaining because you can sustain your own frequency because you're not relying on that externally, okay? And this is leading you to seek that oracle within. You know, it's like any advice you're taking, it's going to be uh, professional advice. I'm hearing it's going to be something around uh, yeah it's like any advice that you're receiving during this time it's literally professional advice because it's coming from you right it's coming straight from source and you're embarking on a healing journey where you're becoming healed and to become healed is become whole right of your non-physical self your multi-dimensional self and also your physical vessel and you're integrating these other fragments of self. So in the esoteric sphere, this is about merging your own divinity and awakening to it. It's about blossoming into your higher self, which I feel like you guys are doing with the Vesta energy. Again, it's like seeking that goddess within and is allowing you to focus on even like sacred secretion, right? The embodiment of becoming your higher self in your physical vessel. It's like your higher self is now seated within your physical vessel. And obviously I wouldn't be surprised if you were like celibate, you practice some kind of form of abstinence. It's really about harnessing your creative life force and being able to channel all that and redirect that with a very specific intention that is completely congruent with your soul's highest expression okay so i feel like you guys are really almost just seen as a demigod during this time where you've come into the alchemical marriage of the non-physical married with the physical realm married with your physical body and you've come into that harmonious state where you're completely in alignment with that at all times there is no contradiction there is no divorce or separation between your intentions and actions you're just consistently aligning your belief systems with your actions there is no temptation to do otherwise okay 
so yeah this is about the uh, eternal flame that you guys are tuning into okay so becoming aware of your secret sac secret life force as you exchange in the physical life okay that's basically what this is all about right is this a depletion of my life force is me paying attention to this matter situation circumstance that is really just petty or day-to-day -day? how can i be able to transcend and lift the veil of the human condition and be able to focus on seeing everything as an energetic signature and an exchange is this taxing to me does this deplete my emotions physical uh, resources, uh, mental well-being, emotional well-being, spiritually, is that a depletion? Is this person leading me to feel drained after this interaction? If so, how can I align my actions accordingly to avoid this, right, and redirect that elsewhere? Uh, that's really what this is about, right, for paying attention to any of these imbalanced energy exchanges, which I feel like you guys have mastered. And in this level of interconnectivity, this is defining how you generate and share your life force, right, and doing that in a way where you're able to profit from it, right, your investment is something that you're now going to receive a huge return on because you're doing that very consciously and lucidly you're not just unconsciously engaging with everybody right not everything that calls for your attention or everybody that calls for your attention is for you during this time right so um yeah it's a beautiful energy for you guys again it's like you're acting as a container where you can center yourself and your spirit is seated within the in the middle of it all right you're in the presence of your spirit you're in the presence of your soul so whoever i'm talking to during this time you're very very highly evolved right you've come into that awakening which is really just that remembrance where you're not discarding um yourself in that process right you're not saying no to yourself by at the expense of, like you're not saying sorry yes to others at the expense of saying no to yourself anymore you're realizing that that comes at too high of a cost and it's not your burden to carry so yeah you're really just again being really intentful with your energy and in this elevated human state you're now asking yourself what you can do to again bridge the gap between your intentions and actions and make sure that they're always in alignment that's pretty much what this is about your pure abundant creative life force in this beautiful state of creation you're co-creating with your higher self when it comes to this reality so i want to go ahead and take a look at what this is but in that state of the divine feminine which you guys have mastered you're the oracle who trusts her own intuition which is a beautiful state to be in okay I was also getting messages about you're the embodiment of the sun drop flower. So again, people definitely want to harness this energy as you're that huge beacon of light. And it reminds me of the Mother Gothel reading that we did. So I'll link that one down below where, again, there could be people that disguise themselves as, you know, these, um, you know, caring, nurturing beings when actually that the parasitic self-serving motives that they have. Um it's something that they're just masking, you know, um, because she was brushing t Rapunzel's hair, which is about your creative life force and vitality in the metaphysical realm in that reading we were talking about, which is someone trying to harness and siphon that power. Um, so yeah, you're just, you're changing the fate's design during this time, right? Mother Gothel means the witch of the night and you're seeing anyone that has this cunning, tang cunning tangled deception and you're uncovering the lies that uh, surround the illusions that others may try to create for you and you're able to really use this finely tuned instrument called your discernment to be able to not judge others but just see what plane of consciousness they may be operating on and align your actions accordingly so i feel like you're definitely again being led away from these kind of energetic signatures that no longer serve you because you got really acquainted with it um so yeah i'll go ahead and read that uh link that reading down below um but yeah the magic can't leave you when you are it and you guys are learning how to give it back to yourself and not allowing other people to have access to this right your attention and energy is so valuable and it's of such value right and it's such a privilege that not everybody can afford it so that's the type of vibe that i was getting for you right we have the emperor so higher levels of establishment within your career and other life goals that you've set for yourself this is literally about your physical vessel as well because it's mars energy so this is your ambitions your drive your motivation it's also about your libido funny enough so again this is about your creative life force you guys have a lot of sexual energy i feel like you're channeling that into some kind of form of creativity right because that's what it is with the four of swords you're being very intentful with that with that um you're definitely focused on i'm hearing intently on reaching like higher levels of establishment when they not create other life goals that you set for yours, yourself and it's about even like a higher spiritual rank for a lot of you i feel we have the three of cups so this could be very intentful when it comes to your connections with others some of you are focused on like creative collaborations during this time just being able to have more emotionally fulfilling exchanges you have the devil at the base so i feel like you've been able to see where people may like like you for a good time but not like a long time you know in any kind of facet of life you may feel like anywhere you go somebody wants something from you right any kind of self-serving parasite three of cups as well i feel like you're learning how to discern with mercury and cancer not the things that people do but the things that they don't right not the things that people say but also the things that they don't 
don't. You're reading in between the lines and you're paying attention to that gut instinct with cancer energy, right? Um, in regards to how you feel around people, you know, how do you actually feel? What's the energetic signature of that? And I feel like you've mastered this, right? The Emperor's about mastery over the physical realm. So I feel like you're just able to trust uh, yourself. You know, you're able to trust that lens of discernment, which is really beautiful. With the Emperor, we have the World Card. So yeah, definitely finding karmic completions when it comes to these physical, you know, cycles that you've gone through. Uh, this is also about integration, which is about healing. And healing is about becoming whole, right? So I feel like you're merging the non-physical and physical aspects of yourself. You have this, again, lens of discernment. It's like that death stare. It reminds me of the reading that we did where it's like um, the compliments behind your back go crazy, right? It's like you have a lot of people talking about you, like talk of the town, talk of the town. You're giving people to, something to talk about. And this is about having that neutral observation, right? Just seeing people and accepting them for where they are, just making sure that you align your actions accordingly. Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, I feel like you guys have definitely been heartbroken before, but I feel like it's something that you no longer take personally. It's almost like an opportunity that you're seeing throughout it all with the Seven of Swords, where people have walked in shoes of deception. Hey, maybe it's a blessing in disguise because now I can actually, you know, identify this when this does come about. So I feel like, again, you're really utilizing that, like, again finely tuned instrument that you guys have curated you're seeing if somebody like feels like it feels right in alignment with your visionary goals and bigger life goals it's like if you can't see things clearly this is the energy that i get you know how wrong like the the wrong things feel right that once something right comes by, you know it's for you. And now you know how right the right things feel, that if anything leaves you feeling confused, it leaves you feeling like you have clouded judgment, you know, whatever that is, it has this very specific feel to it, okay, instinctually, you know to avoid it. You know, I'm hearing avoid it like the play care, right? Eight, eight of cups energy. Hey, I know that this person's words they hold no value because the actions never really align with it right i can tell when somebody is a man or woman of many words but does not intend on pulling through with that whatsoever right because you've been disappointed time and time again so i feel like you're able to see that you're able to accept it for what it is and you've completely become disillusioned to what you were once illusioned to right it's like you're breaking down the illusions around the lies that people try to create right we have the magician, so again, where people tr could try to manipulate. This is also like you knowing your preferences and desires because you've experienced the opposite end of the spectrum. With a full card, I feel like you guys are willing to just take a leap of faith. You're just leaving that all behind. The stories that have played out, the characters, and you're bringing forward those lessons. And now your knowledge is your torch, right? Your wisdom is your torch moving forward. Your awareness of yourself is your torch. And awareness is about how you respond to others, right? Your response to others in is an awareness of yourself. And you know that you are powerful enough to just remain humble. You don't even have to announce this, right? You don't have to announce that you're okay. You allowing you're allowing people to see it at this stage in your journey, which is awesome. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and take a look at an oracle message for you guys. We have deep knowing. I love this, and I was literally gonna say you were you were seeking the oracle within. Okay, that's the energy that I was getting with oracle. I freaking love this card for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at forty three. I love this card. What the heck? 43. Okay, here. Okay, deep knowing, intuition, listening to the oracle within. This is literally what it says, guys. Empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source the consciousness that you're a part of but cannot see with the naked eye it's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys to access their inner guidance know that you have an ability to read in between the lines virgo what the frick have we been saying whoever i'm talking to you are extremely psychic again you have the vesta energy okay N know that you have this ability to read in between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told the deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available to, to the limitations of the human experience you're given information that may not make no any logical sense whatsoever but with the five senses uh you you know that they're 100 true right this is a tip tapping into your sixth sense guys okay the trick is to listen and then act accordingly accordingly well i feel like this is just confirming everything that i just said okay this isn't for me this is just for you guys you're now in invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing so tune in and trust your vibes literally mercury and cancer energy right so they will be right 
uh, ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Okay, so in relationships, there are occasions where you just know deep in your heart and soul that someone is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path and suddenly out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched indelibly into your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be an instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling each other to begin an alchemical process. This is a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart as it will lead you now. Magic is about to happen. So again, this is allowing somebody to help you tap into that power of alchemy. I feel like you guys have already gone through this process and you're about to go through it in a different type of way now and like in a higher octave right um so prosperity message is knowing that your hunches are going to pay off okay especially when it comes to work especially if you listen to them it's time to take the risk and act especially with the emperor uh sorry not the em the emperor and then you have them the uh fall at the base so again it's like you're resetting this journey here Anyway, uh, this is knowing that within you there is an ocular consciousness, a higher and deeper knowing that transcends the machinists of the smaller thinking mind. At the deep level of your intuitive senses, you have an access point to the genius of the collective, the energies of all thinkers and creators, all inventors, all leaders, and all you need to do is leap into success that is available for you to tune into. This is an act of listening intently. Pass the busy mind. Your genius awaits. Awesome. All right. All right, um, I don't even, yeah, let's take a look at one of these messages, why not? Let's take a look at an oracle message for you guys and see what you need to embody more of, okay? I'm also hearing what you need to release, so let's see. We have partnership. Oh, so maybe it's what you need to get ready to embody more of and knowing which ones you need to release, right? It's like spirits saying, hey, you know, it takes two to tango here with partnership. Love this with, with, with you, right? With inner nature, paying attention to how partnerships make you feel internally, right? That's what the Vesta energy is about. It's literally about that internal journey. Love this. Okay, let me go ahead and read this partnership card for you. But yeah, this is literally knowing that there's new people that you're being connected to. It's seventh house energy. So this could be in business. It could be in love. It could be any kind of aspect of your life. But a good partner helps you grow to seek partnerships that light you up, that stokes the fire of curiosity, that are fun, and that keep you grounded and true to yourself. You know what it is, Virgos? Um, those who I've I've never known somebody that has you know been kind to themselves and has not been kind to another. Just like I have never known somebody who has not been kind to another and is also kind to themselves. You know, um, it's literally like anyone that is kind to themselves is also kind to another. If anyone is not kind to you it's because they are not kind to themselves it's only a reflection and a projection so learn to discern the difference and don't take it personally first and foremost make sure that you are a good and kind partner to yourself also the other message i was getting is up to you if you want to take on the other person's suffering right because that's a parasitic energy exchange it's up to you if you want to take on the suffering that they're projecting on you right a hurt mind cannot love so be mindful of your thoughts and treat yourself with care okay i feel like you're realizing that you're realizing where people are not even i'm hearing even built to um like they've built so many conditions uh, when it comes to the limitations of their own belief systems within themselves and their own potential that that will kind of bleed onto you uh, karmically, I'm hearing, especially if you're like, again, you're part of these parasitic energy exchanges. And it just gives me the Mother Gothel energy. You know, you guys definitely want to watch that reading if you haven't already. You might just want to like, you know, uh, refresh your memory. But there's something around that specifically that's coming up for you guys. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get some tea leaf messages. And then we'll take a look at a um, spirit guide message and some angel ones muddled unclear thinking for us. So again, I feel like if anyone leaves you feeling just like unclear, um, that's your answer. You know, that's your answer, guys. We have, again, temporary problems, clouds, right? If people leave you feeling like that seven of cups energy if it looks like a snake it moves like a snake wait well it's probably a snake you know some kind of recognition or reward that you're going to be gaining i'm hearing from your guides when it comes to you operating this again two-faced friend look at this take care enemies are working against you with bat just virgos we have climbing the ladder towards success right which is about ascension you know what this reminds me of? Again, look at this. We were talking about awareness being your torch, right? Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness and understanding, torch, right? Awareness is literally going to be your torch, guys. You know the vibe that I was getting with the ladder? Some people that you meet, right? Some karmic contracts, you can think of them as the snakes and snakes and ladders, right? You're playing that game, you're rolling the dice, you're taking a gamble on life. Do I trust the person? Do I not? End up landing on a snake. 
head you go down to the tail right and then you have to kind of like get back from scratch to reach that next octave you have to keep taking chances to move forward in life is what i'm saying the world's not going to stop for anyone there's other partnerships that you're going to meet where you can go up those ladders right and they allow you to discover new aspects of yourself right bring out new facets within yourself i just feel like you're rising above it right with whatever this is you're just rising above it here you're leveraging from this though like you're using this inconvenience or whatever it is as a way to accelerate along your path right you have Bo. you are highly thought of people admire this about you like your ability to benefit of what seems to be a momentary crisis right where other people see an adversity right or something that is negative you see it as an opportunity to learn something we have hard work ahead with table okay you have new news of a birth or new business opportunity at the base so some of you again like your um you're excelling from this, whatever it is, right? Someone will gossip about all your secrets, parrots. Give them something to talk about. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Do not step outside of your character under any circumstances. This comes with the territory of success, guys. New job or career, pin, right? Pin, something pinned upon the wall. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance, right? You're stepping into abundant period. You have marriage there as well, which is literally about a contract of some kind. It comes with the territory of success. Do not take it personally, right? Do not take it personally, okay? Someone's working on your order. Spirit's working on your order, just like an Amazon parcel, right? That's, a, that's a, um, the uh, notification I just got uh, right now. So your dreams, you can expect them to arrive at your door just as efficiently as an Amazon parcel. Literally like that, okay, guys? <laughs> so, yeah, you just sit back and relax now. Like, just watch it all unfold is what I'm getting. People are about to watch new aspects of yourself, new facets of yourself unfold. We have let go flow with let go flow, right? It says it's time to let go, stop overthinking. Meditation helps, right? Okay. Meditation helps. You have balance. Things are balancing out equal give and take. Find your balance, right? Which is literally about finding the right energy exchanges to be a part of. No longer having that imbalanced energy exchange. Smile. Think of something beautiful. Don't worry. Be happy. There's always a reason to smile. So again, I feel like you're seeing the beauty within the pain, right? And once you're kind of like, you'll see, you see that beauty within the pain, damn you are free you would actually become free in this life yeah let's go ahead and close out with a angel number message oh my gosh no let's try and get one we have willpower we have clarity we have courage and then we also have possibilities i guess possibilities really wants to come out <laughs> building strong foundations creates stability and welcomes in possibilities all possibilities exist and are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place some of you is the foundation within yourself right again having that come into congruency when it comes to your intentions and actions i'm grateful for all that is all that will be i trust in the possibilities of what i desire when it comes to something greater right 1414 okay willpower at the base things may fall out of sync and not within your control the whisper of the divine is asking you to remember that you're being supported and that your willpower is your superpower determination is key right now okay clarity as the sun passes clarity is felt faster than lightning as seen against a dark sky the divine is reminding you that clarity is readily available when you all you have to do is ask you have weathered the storm and now the sky is clearing 911 at the base a doorway has opened for you while apprehension may be felt um Allow the courage to flow in as you put your best foot forward. You're being encouraged to let curiosity lead you. I know the divine has your back, okay? So, Virgos, I'm a love and leave you right there. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing. We'd love to have you around. Uh, it's going to be like right over here. Other corresponding readings are also going to be around here, guys. So definitely pay attention to them, right? The ones that resonate with this reading. And personal reading details are also down below. But until next time, Virgos, bye!